Hello everyone, glad to see you guys again in CLGTR channel. Today we will start a new series about how to draw Manga comic in Medibank Pen Pro and I hope after you finish this series, you will understand about how this program works and also know what you need to do when you want to start your old comic manga series. I already published my old comic on Tapastic and Webtoon. I did draw in both ways that black and white and color comic. I did try both the old comic book style and new scroll down style just like Webtoon. I also have my old comic books will be published this month in my country. So I hope with those experiments, I can help you guys collect enough information you need and have fun with Medibank Pen Pro. I already told in my review video about Medibank that this program is the best for comic purpose. So that's why I switched from Photoshop to this for speed up my work. And now, let's start with the first thing you need to know when you start your old comic, that is paper size. So in this video, I will not talking uh, about how to make a comic from the beginning, just like uh, how to make the script, how to uh, draw the character, anything is about it. I will just talk about the way you use Medibank Pen Pro for drawing comic and manga. Okay, uh, because I think that you guys want to hear about it instead of those things, uh, <laughs> because you already know uh, what to do for the rest. Uh, okay, get back in here. So when you uh, do the digital comic, the first thing you might thinking about the paper size, because you know uh, in the real life, in the traditional way, you already had a paper size you decide to work on, but in the digital comic, you can set the size you want to. So when you create a new size in here, you can see that uh, you can switch to the tab, the comic in here, and they will have some template already in here for you to create uh, the comic size. So uh, when you guys ask me what size I have, what size do you need to make a digital comic, the answer is that will depend on depend on the purpose that you intend to do. So what kind of purpose in here? There's two purpose for you guys to intend to that will you uh, making this comic for printing or you just use it for a web comic because different purpose will lead to the different size of this way. So you can see in the screen right now that is the uh, one page of my comic in here and this will work for printing purpose and I will show you guys the size of this page you can see here the width and the height around uh, 2000 and 3000 right and I suppose you get the DPI here will be around 300 and that will be enough for you to print it out. Uh, you will maybe want to learn more about the DPI and PPI you can share it on Google and understand more about this. So when you do the printing uh, proposal here you must think about it and you will have a big size so I already wrote, uh, write a little bit here to uh, you can have a comparison about uh, um, the two different way here so you can uh, have you guide to thinking about your choice so if you want to use for printing of course you must have a big size and resolution is around 300 dpi and it will lead to that when you print it, it will have the sharp look and the good result. It's really beautiful. But instead of that, uh, you know, in the in the other's hand, that your uh, your work will have the large size in computer. And if your computer is kind of not working good, uh, it's not fast enough, and the RAM is not. Uh, enough for this the big size will maybe slow down your computer and you will find kind of struggle when you draw it because the mouse can even moving and sometimes you will find that is kind of slow to solve the file so that is you must thinking about this one for the online versions in here, it will have a small size because you know they want to serve it and load it on the website really fast so 
the size will be around the width that will be the width okay I remember it will be around uh, 700 to 900 pixels the DPI only around uh, 72 and for the online version here you will have two choices in here you will work in the old style one or the web comic style and the old style that is just like this one that is page to page and the web comic will be the scroll down you can see on the web here and you just need to scroll down to read the comic and depending on that one you will have the different paper size you will work on uh, so here is the old style you just need to create the comic paste here template or you will go to the standard here and uh, choose to the pixel or sentiments or anything you can work on and uh, move it like the width here like this and the haze is around this one resolution just need around 100 uh, so you can make an extend a little bit about the DPI so you can have the uh, better result later if you want to have the largest file yeah kind of like this uh, and you can create like this and you have a new page yeah the standard will have you let you have the custom page like this but for the scroll down it will be a little different um, you can see that I'm not recommend that you will guys we do scroll down uh, paper size in Mediband because it will be really hard to work on and you better switch it to Photoshop in here and we show you guys one of the page of my comic in here use the scroll down type yeah and you see that I will create the blank page like this create the size uh, around the width a uh, 7 on 90 hundred pixels and the haze go up to 10,000 and resolution is around uh, 100 to uh, 150 yeah depend on and you will have the long page like this you will work on that one and later you will use the slide tool around here in the Photoshop and you will have the fixed sign and cut this one then you will see that uh, let me show you guys and when you move here with the pixel sign here pixel sign here you can see this will slide and cut your page into part and part like that then you just need to go to file and export uh, choose cell for web here and a box will appear then you just have the uh, resetting here thinking about the, the, the setting here and maybe you can change the paper sign here and then you click self and remember to choose slide this is all slide and then it will appear in here in the new image and the result you will have just wait the result you will have you can see that the image in here I already cut it out and it could be like this for every single page and then when you're done with that one you will go to the website and upload it page to page after that let me go to um, the website uh, I get this is Tapastic or, um, or Webtoon whatever I will click just whatever uh, story in here and later you can see it will have like this and you will scroll down scroll down scroll down and it will connect on the page together because it upload uh, long like this and they will work just like that so my recommend my advice that uh, you better work on this time that is pay to pay why when you work in pay to pay like that uh, you if you intend to have printing purpose it's really easier for you for later when you want to print it out because you know long style like this cannot print it out and you have a huge work later when you want to fix that to the page to print it and uh, if you work in this page and you want to switch to the style like this the long page is will kind of really easy because you just need to copy work with the Photoshop or can the same in Mediband 
you just need to um, let me show you maybe you have page net this is a pay to paste right you can do this one select on copy it and paste to this one like this just copy and paste and make a size this paper maybe you want to reduce size you transform and put this one like this yeah that how you work when you want to switch from pay to pay to that long style with scroll down web comic and it's easier for you guys to work from this or pay to pay to the scroll down like this instead of the opposite way yeah that's in my recommend okay so you already know about the decisions and the paper side you will work on that you will must remember two things when you work on choose the paper side that's the dpi and the size in here that is the width and the height yeah depend on and one more thing that you guys always ask me that uh, how to add a new page for your comic i must say that in medibank they have the features that is cloud right cloud features in here and you can choose here in draw manga uh, so i recommend you guys that use this one this cloud features here group features for if you work uh, in group or you will use your word to submit directly to medibank yeah when when you have this you can create a new project it will create page and you can add new page here item add page that's it and okay as we have a new page in here that is page 5 and you can go back to your job here to delete a page you don't want delete by clicking the button here and delete or create a new page like this yeah that's how you create page on medibank cloud and if you're not working in medibank cloud you just want to draw in medibank and you just uh, work alone and maybe you will upload your comic in other websites not just medibank then simply just create a new page that's it new and have a new page use the same site as the first one you create and just work on that click ok and this will appear a new page for you guys so that is all about the paper size a little bit more about paper size here that is you know about the margin the bleed when you're printing this will talk a little bit you can see that the blue lines the cyan lines here on the page I will zoom it so you can see it clearly yeah here that blue lines here you must think about this one if you have the purpose that printed out why because when you draw your comic page here you must understand this page here will be this part this will be cut out yeah this will be cropped and everything here is will be disappeared that means when you print out this part will not here anymore that's it So in this part, I will create a new paper in here so you I can talk about this uh, easier. Okay, so here is the page in here. This part will be the safe, safe zone for you guys. If you didn't see this one, you can go to there, view and choose comic, so comic guidelines in here click that and this will appear if I click that it again it will disappear and click that again it will appear here this part will be the safe zone and this part here maybe will be crop 
and usually it will be cropped and you can see and this part in here you can draw it here but you must put in your mind that this part maybe will use for binding and uh, it maybe will disappear some part in here so thinking about it carefully before you drawing and you know when you create the panels in here it's always work and you can see the panel automatic is will work in the safe zone here like this so in this picture you see that maybe this part here maybe will be cropped in some part and of course this one will be cropped if I print it out. Thinking about this that one is the guidelines for you to uh, print for printing purpose. Can you edit this one? Yes you can. When you go to view and you choose comic guideline setting in here you can change the finish line book binding in here and set fly and you can work on that and of course when you create a new page you can also have the new options in here that sprite cover page that means you will work for double page for some part that you want to draw in the double page or you want to draw the cover uh, for your book uh, yeah this will have the page like this and of course it also have the set uh, lines comic guidelines in here for you guys it will work the same so that is all about this video about the paper size and anything I know about uh, Mediba have you to create the paper size here uh, we will go to the next video uh, talking about material you prepare before you're working uh, on Medibank. Thank you for watching and see you next time.